Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics. In this video we are going to solve this really interesting exponential equation, we have x to the power x equal to 6. On the first side this looks very easy equation, we have a constant on the right hand side, already we have a constant on the right hand side which is really great, our variables we have on the on the left hand side, so we can easily like find it by maybe by inspection, maybe like in one or two lines real quick right here, but uh, a little bit difficult is we have x in our base and x in our power, so we need to know about really interesting and tricks, or of course two tricks, and I'm going to show you these tricks right here. So it's really great and I hope you will enjoy this video. But if you can solve it by yourself, you can easily pause this video and try to solve it by yourself and write your answer into the comment section. So thank you and let's try to let's try to solve it. First of all, we have x in our base and x in our exponent. It's it's uh, really difficult to figure out with this expression, so we need to know about natural log. Yeah, from school you need to know about natural log. If you apply natural log on the on the left hand side, so we have natural log x to the power x equal to natural log natural log six. Okay, so we just apply natural log on both sides. Of course, for us change nothing because we did it on the on the both side. But on the left hand side, from school you need to know a really great rule if we have natural log a to the power b. This b jumps right here as a product, so this is maybe the main uh, main log property, this is like the main log rule right here, and we really need it, because right now x jumps right here, and as a result we have like x times natural log x equal to natural log natural log 6. And on the first side we do like more complicated expression, right here we have a great expression, right now we have complicated expression with natural log, but it's really great expression right now because we can easily create a lambert w function. So it was our first really important trick, but the second trick is about lambert w function. And I, I know a lot of students find difficulties with this function, a lot of students can solve this uh, question, don't know about the uh, Lambert W function, don't understand this function, and I want you to understand this, and I wanted to explain you in simple words, very simple words. Just imagine you have like expression like a times e to the power a, where a is wherever you want expression, doesn't matter, complicated, not complicated expression, long expression, doesn't matter. And if you apply Lambert W function from this expression, the result will be only our a. So as you can see, if you have e, and if you have the same expression in a power and this product, this result will be only our a, which is which is really great. It is our second really important step we need to know. You need to learn about Lambert W function. I hope a lot of students know this function or already know this function because I have a lot of videos with this function, and I hope you understand this. But for those who don't know, who who want to learn this function, this is really great like explanation, I guess, because same expression right here, same expression right here as a power you have e, applying Lambert W function give us only our only our a. But right now let's try to look at this function. So right here we have natural log 6 on the on the right hand side. It's like we cannot create this Lambert W function on the right hand side because we have like only our constant, how can we do this? We need to have e, we need to have the same expression. But on the left hand side we have better expression for Lambert W function because we have like two, two elements x and nature log x. And let's try to create this Lambert W function. First of all, we need to know about one really important trick. Instead of this x, let's write really important expression e to the power nature log x, yeah, and times nature log x equal to nature log 6. So I hope you understand this step. Instead of this x, I write this expression e to the power nature log x, nature log x. Which is, which is really important expression for us, because right now we have e right here and we, we need to have e to create a Lambert W function, to apply Lambert W function. So we hope you understand this step. We just cancel this e and natural log x and we have a natural log and we have only our x. So this is a really great trick right here to create Lambert W function. And let's look closely. We have e and we have powers and we have elements right here. And if you look at it, this natural log x for example, this is our a, then this natural log x will be the same a. So it looks like it's really great to apply Lambert W function. But right here we have maybe different order. I want to, uh, to, I want to change this order a little bit. So we have natural log x times e to the power natural log x. I want you to understand because right here I have a different order. I have first of all e, a, and then I have e. And I change an order a little bit because this is a product. We can easily do this and equal to natural log, natural log 6. Okay, so right now, as I told before, we need to apply Lambert W function, let's do this, but we need to apply this Lambert W function on both sides, on the left and on the right hand side, we apply this function. 
right now really great moment because we have nature look x right here so this is, looks like our a this is nature look x this is, looks like our a and if we go back to this my explanation about lambda w function lambda w function from this expression give us only our a in our case a equal to nature log x so let's let's write this let's write this uh, nature log x nature log x equal to lambda w function of nature log nature log six okay what we're going to do next take a look closely right here we have like uh, nature log x but we need our x we need our x uh, really really important uh, step right here we need our x and let's let's learn the really important trick let's apply base of e on both side base of e on the left hand side so we just create base of e and this expression go to our power uh, equal to e to the power lambda w function of nature log nature log six okay really important trick maybe the third trick i thought i talk about uh, two tricks but let's go with this third really important trick i hope you i hope you understand this trick we just create base of e on both side let's look at it this goes to our power this goes to our power which is really great and right now e to the power nature log x let's go right here e to the power nature log x give us only our x so then in simply words in your head you can easily cancel this e and nature log and you have only our x so let's write it so right here only our x equal to e to the power lambda w function we can easily write it because this is a constant e to the power lambda w function of nature log nature log six okay it looks like our answer we have a constant on the on the right hand side we have our variable that we need to find on the left hand side and it looks like your solution for your exam this is a constant this is a variable e we know e we know lambda w function of this expression so this is a solution this is a solution to this question but in your exam you like don't allow to uh, find the exact value on your calculator you don't allow to to f to use your calculator your telephone so it's it's the final answer for you but for this video i uh, prepare and i uh, find the exact value of this solution maybe someone interested in this so we have 2.231 this is the exact value on your exam i think you you don't like uh, you cannot uh, look at this uh, look at this answer because you cannot you uh, cannot use your calculator but i find this answer for you i want you to understand that this looks like that yeah we have like is this uh, expression uh, this x is no more than three because we have three to the three equal to 27 so it looks like this is less than three so it looks like that 2.231 but for your exam this is the exact solution to this question so I hope you understand my explanation. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. This is maybe the main purpose for this uh, channel. I hope you you understand something new. You understand Lambert W function and nature log properties and this trick with, with E. So thank you for your time. I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. See you in the next videos and have a great day.